from my point of view, the Jedi are evil. Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Zareth Prevails. Guys, today I want to talk a little bit about why I <laughs> do what I do, why I go into uh, stay in Bronzium instead of going into Chromium early on week one. Uh, I've gotten a lot of people asking me this, and instead of just answering people individually, I think that this is something that is actually not really widely known uh, among like a ton of the community. I know that the really hardcore gaming crowd already knows about this, but what, uh, I want to talk about it a little bit just because I, I do this consistently, and I feel like people should know this, and they don't. This is something you should know, and so let, let's talk about it. So, what what happens, guys, is, what the situation is, is uh, when you do really well in week one, you can get into... Uh, so you start in Carbonite, you can get into Bronzium pretty easily, and then you can, if you do full clears and uh, you win all three of your matches, and you get decent banners, and you claim a lot of feats, all of these criteria will all coalesce into getting into Chromium early, Chromium League, and uh, there's no difference between what, like your prizes of when you get Chromium or whatever, like you can claim Chromium, whatever, it's, it's the same prizes. But, uh, I mean, it's nice for the leaderboard and everything to, to make early Chromium, but it, what ends up happening, guys, is you, you end up facing tougher people if you do that, and I'll explain that in just a minute. So, like, Bronzium's easy enough to make, Chromium's tough to make, you have to, like I said, overachieve. The way you do that is, um, so you need to get full clears. And you need, you need to max your banners, basically. I mean, not max, max. Like, you can definitely get it when still fail a few attacks or whatever. Uh, what happens is, though, there's two different things that you can do to get into early Chromium. So, beyond all of the, like, domination in GAC, which I'm sure that all of you who are watching already probably do dominate in GAC, uh, a lot of you, though, can, <laughs> uh, beyond that, you can claim two different types of feats that can really screw you. So, you need to claim all of the week one feats, like the, the arena feats and the ones that only last for one week. You need to claim those, but the ones that you can wait on are uh, the two week ones that happen. So, this one, for instance, is the Foundlings are the future. This one right now, obviously, we only have four and a half days left to claim it but we've had a full week in advance of this as well to do it so this isn't too tough to get uh, well whatever it, it it can be tough to get but that's not the point once you finally get it i know th this is on my alt i haven't earned it yet i've been taking my time but on my main for instance i had this ready to claim at the end of week one but i didn't i just left it there because we can claim it at any point until it times out so we can we can claim it later and the other one is this undersized squad, and I, I know this looks like maybe I've been working on this for a while, this is three of three, but my alt happens to undersize quite a bit, <laughs> which a lot of men actually do that uh, quite a bit, you know, even if they don't play Galaxy of Heroes, but the, um, jeez, <laughs> uh, but this, uh, if you can undersize, uh, if you can claim these undersized feats, you don't want to, you can claim the first one, that's okay. But then the second one, I hold until I get into week two because I'm, I don't want to get paired against, uh, like, like I said, I don't want those extra banners to push me over into early Chromium. And what, so, so you, you're probably just about to pull your hair out, like, Zareth, why, why don't you want this? Why are your matchups harder? And I'll, I'll show you. So... Uh, there are two things that happen when you get paired. When, when you click that join button, it actually doesn't pair you for a while until until you get into, uh, you know, until the very end. Like, they say that they start matching you and grouping you and stuff early on, and maybe there's some weird thing that's going on in the background, but they can't really do it until you actually hit that time. Like, for me, it's like 3 o'clock p.m., and, uh, you know, for Eastern Time, it's 5 o'clock p.m., where you roll over into the actual pairing process to see who you're going to be matched up against, and two things happen. So, number one, they check your matchup GP, and that that's a, a whole topic for a different 
time. Uh, but what the what essentially that is is they're going to say roughly what are the top number of characters, the most number of characters you can use in a GAC match, and and they compare that GP from those characters against other people. Now it's not it's not just like I know you can use every character in GAC potentially if if you want to do it that way that's fine. But what what I mean by that is okay they say. Great, you can play. You can place forty characters on defense, and if you want to, if you place forty characters on defense, then it takes approximately forty characters to on offense to beat your opponent's forty characters on defense. And so, if it's like eighty. They take your top eighty characters for GP wise. They add those all together. They compare it to all the other character or all the other people in your uh, division and then you get paired. So, like, you'll never get paired outside of your division. I'm in Division 4 right now on my alt. I'm not going to get paired at any point against someone from Division 3, Division 5, uh, any other division than 4. So they take your division, they compare your matchup GPs, and then the only other criteria that they use, and this, this is important, is they compare which league you are in when that rolls over. So, uh... It's not when I click join, it doesn't say, okay, cool, he's he's only in Bronzium, you're good. So you can't claim feats then, you because, trust me, we've, we've tested this. If if you click join and then you claim those feats and join, Bron or join Chromium or later, you're still going to be placed in Chromium League. And what happens is you only get paired against people who are in your same league. And so this isn't a great example because none of these guys have actually made Chromium yet. But uh, on my alt, you can see I've made Chromium. That's because I waited until it ticked over, till I got this group. And so I used, it used to say Bronzium as well. But uh, I got paired against only people in Bronzium right now. And if I had gotten into Chromium, I would have been paired against other people in Chromium. If I if I'd ticked over and you know started in Chromium League, I'd have gotten paired with people who were also tryhards like myself. And <laughs> I say that in the most jovial manner. Uh, people who are just dominant, people who crush their their opposition, who who have gotten max banners or thereabouts, people who have won all three of their matches. They all get paired in Chromium and they have to beat the crap out of each other to in order to win. Like, it's crazy. Like, these people who are top of the line, they're really good players, they're all getting, fa they're all facing off against each other and only one of eight of those guys is actually going to be undefeated. It's actually great for the leaderboards that all of these really strong players are getting paired against each other. And so, uh, you know, the wiser players, the guys who are like the truly dominant players, usually are able to keep their keep their uh, minds, uh, keep their heads. They keep something, guys. We keep, I keep saying keep, 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 keep. But yeah, and hopefully that wasn't a drinking game for you guys. But. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you don't want to get paired against those guys. Those guys are tough. Like my alt, actually the last time I lost was when I intentionally went into early Chromium and the guy I lost to, I lost by a couple banners, the guy was a really good player and it was a slog, man. It was because I, I made a mistake and whatever. I, I think I could have won that match, but that's the only time I've lost in the past like almost 200 matches on my alt because that guy... <laughs> That guy was really good, and he got into early Chromium, and we got paired. Otherwise, we probably wouldn't have gotten paired, or at least put in the same bracket. And, uh, you know, it, it's just against these guys who are really good. So, you don't want to do that. You want to stay in Bronzium. You get paired against other people in Bronzium. In this case, I'm facing this Lock Robstar guy. You can see he's got 323 lifetime, whereas I've got... 866 on this account like it this guy just auto deploys because he's in bronzium he it's it's an easy match right you can get really good banners on him especially in lower divisions because they don't have good rosters as opposed to these chromium guys who are like yeah i've got a cutting edge account i've got really good mods i've got all these really cool things why don't you want to face me and i'm like well because i'd rather someone else just take you out in that round and then in the next round we're gonna get into uh you know then i'll be in chromium with other people who are in Chromium. And the cool thing is, guys, so sometimes if you truly max your first two weeks worth of banners out, you can sometimes, in some divisions, because the math isn't like, 
it's not totally balanced for whatever reason. Some some weird divisions you can get into early erodium. That is usually not a thing. Division one is certainly not like that. I think this division four is also not like that. Uh, I, and I trust me, guys. I I don't think anyone who makes early erodium uh, in week three is happy about it. So uh, because of the only guys who that you face are going to be really good and. Keep in mind too, guys, if you make an early league like that, uh, you're going to get buys, and whereas buys sound great because you get max banners for a lot of things, you also, uh, and you know, you get free wins, you also can't claim feats, so you're not going to actually win if you're, you know, you're like, oh yeah, cool, I'm, if I'm the only one in early er erodium, I get to win, and that'll be neat, that'll be fun. Um, I, I get, you know, a whole week off, basically, uh, but it's not good because you can't claim feats and eventually, even though you'll ride that leaderboard at the top for a week, uh, you're not going to win because the people who are actually f facing p uh, opponents and claiming feats, uh, only those guys are going to be able to get it. And if you have a buy, you can't actually do that. That being said, folks, I hope this helped to explain a little bit of why I do this. It's a strategy thing. It does help. Uh, you don't want to get paired against these guys. Uh, I, I don't want to keep this video too long, so I'm going to let you go. Let me know what you think in the video, uh, in, in the comments below. Please, guys, uh, we're trying to mount the algorithm. If you can leave a like, I would really appreciate that. Or sub, whatever, leave a comment. All of these things help us mount the algorithm, get better. Uh, it's a free way to support the channel, etc. That being said, folks, thank you all so much for watching. And remember that in all things, Zareth prevails.